Hi there. Um, okay, this video is going to demonstrate how to export or import the code that we've just generated from building our strategy into C Trader, build the C bot, and run back tests. Um, this video is just going to show you how to import it first and convert it to .NET 6. We'll do another video to show you how to do back tests and optimize it. So if you haven't read the, uh, sorry, watched the video previously, um, look at the video that we created before this, or I did. It's a video to actually how to create um, an algorithmic trading system based on trade rules with no coding experience. So you can build strategies or basic strategies, also complex strategies, generate the source code, and then put them into CTrader. So what I'm going to do is this is the code we've just generated from our previous strategy. For those who just want to recap, I'm going to go to the indicators. It was two RSI indicators, two different time frames. Trade rules rules were the hourly RSI and the daily RSI have to be both bullish for a buy signal and um, bearish for a sell signal. Basic risk management, stop loss, take profit. Trade actions, just open up a, a trade. We reviewed our strategy and we are ready now to export the code. So I just generate the code again. There it is, 270 lines of code. I click copy. Now it's copied. I can close this window. We don't need it open. I go to CTrader Automate. In CTrader Automate, I'm going to create a new CBOT. I'm just going to call it um, R RSI Multi. Okay, I'm just going to call it that. Actually, I'm going to call it Time Frame as well. Okay, that's the name of our indicator. Sorry, the RC bot. So now it's got some basic code already created for .NET 6. I'm just going to highlight all of that code and remove it. And I'm going to paste in the code that we just copied from the strategy builder. And there it is. It's pasted it all in. So if I go to the very top, um, you can see that it's all in there. Now what I'm going to do is just build it to make sure that it's got no bugs. So to do that, I'm going to show you the build result bottom. Sorry, the build result bottom. Here it will tell you if it's built or not. I click on the little build icon there. Or I can also select it at the top. That's going to build the CBOT. It's built it correctly. So we now have our CBOT, uh, CBOT that's built. I'll just go to give you a quick code uh, walkthrough showing you the code that we've just created from uh, the strategy building tool. At the top here, you've got um, comments explaining about the strategy. Um, you don't need full access. So even if you're using Telegram alerts, there's no full access required. Um, these, are you, your, sorry, these are your user parameters, quantity, in lot, stop loss, take profit. profit. And all your indicators are defined down here. You've got indicator settings for bullish and bearish, the two RSI indicators. It's got the upper and lower levels. I'll show you those in a minute. And through the code down here, we could declare in our indicators. For the buy indicators here, we've got RSI by one, RSI by two. If you had three indicators, it would be RSI by three or four be RSI by four. And we're defining the bars for the timeframes. Um, here we've got the logic to state if it's a bullish or bearish. And on the on start method, um, we've got the name of our strategy, which also is also populated here. So when you when it opens trades, you can actually see the names. Um, it's constructing our constructing our indicators now. If you just go down here, it's got all the different types of indicators that we're constructing, and with the time frames that we're using that were defined up here. So if I just scroll down further, so this is actually constructing all your indicators for the strategy, and nothing really happens in on tick. That's used if you're using trailing stop loss or break even. On an arm bar close, it actually checks your trade rules. So every time a candle closes, it checks trade rules bullish to see if there's a bullish trade. Um, and if it's a bullish trade signal, it will actually open up a buy position if there's not one already open. Uh, the reverse happens to open up a bearish signal. And if you just scroll down, you can see it's all fully commented. So your code has got comments on each method explaining what it does. Hopefully it's followed coding standards, so it's actually easy to follow, it's not messy. And this method here opens a trade. So a lot of the uh, naming conventions for the methods should be quite self-explanatory. So when you use this tool to build uh, your code, it should be in a neat, concise way that follows Microsoft's coding standards, um, fully documented so you can understand what's going on. So it allow you to actually make um, additional um, changes yourself. So again, it's in .NET 6. Um, what I'm going to do now is just add a CBOT instance, uh, EuroUSD. Now straight away, you can see that it's got the parameters here for our CBOT. So we set our stop loss as 86, take profit as 6. The RSI by 1, this is the RSI by 1. The time frame is 1 hour. You can change this to anything you want from here, really. But it's default to 1 hour. It's got the periods, the upper and lower level. Um, the second indicator, the time frame is 1 day, as we defined. And it's got the indicator parameters. For a sell signal, it's got the RSI in reverse. It's got the R, so it's got the 1 hour and the daily. So it's pretty much the same as the, the buy, but obviously it's going to be using the buy will be using the lower level when the price drops below the lower level. I'm just going to quickly put an RSI indicator on the chart just to quickly show you. So in this case that we've got it here, when the price drops below, uh, actually it's not showing it there. See if I can expand. I'm going to actually just edit the indicator just to show you quickly. It's got a 30. I'm just going to change that to 40 so we can see it. And that is 60. 
Okay, so hopefully it will show you the two lines now. Um, I'm going to show you the two lines. Two lines are missing for some reason. I think it's just off the chart. There it is, 40. So in this case, what it will do is if the actual um, RSI line drops below the lower threshold of 40, it will be seen as a, it's oversold. So it, it looks like to go into a bullish signal. Again, when the price goes above the 60 or whatever value you've defined, it will state that it's actually over, overbought and it should go into a sale signal. So that's how it works for these two indicators, the RSI strategy. Um, so that's the video I'm just going to show you to how to import it and build it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to backtest this strategy. Actually, no, first thing I'm going to show you is how to optimize the settings. So how to get the best possible settings down here for a particular time frame. So you could re-optimize as many times as you want. And once we've done that, I'm going to show you how to backtest. Okay, thanks very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.